Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, for those of you who are new. I'm also an author, I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what those are about, all the information and links are in the description box below. So welcome, welcome back everyone. I don't really have a theme this week, it's just, I got a lot of stuff going on, so I just um, let Spirit show me which decks to use. I'm going to be using the Goddess Tarot. Um, the Energy Oracle, the Legendary Ladies, and I'm going to pull one card from the Whispers of Lord Ganesha deck. Okay, so um, we'll see, I guess as we go along, we'll see why Spirit chose these decks. These are a little larger here, so I won't be pulling six cards, I'll be pulling four. I hope everybody is doing well. Just so that you all know, I'm only on three social media platforms right now. I'm on here on YouTube, on Facebook, and also on TikTok. I'm doing two-minute summaries of these readings. So if you want a shorter reading, you can check it out over there. Sometimes I realize more stuff when I'm making those shorter readings. So you might, uh, if you want the whole story, you might want to watch both. If you're here from TikTok getting the full reading, welcome. Welcome so much. Um, please don't forget to follow me on TikTok and also subscribe here on YouTube. I, I'm just so tickled pink every time I see more subscribers and followers. And so welcome everyone. I love you all. Wow, that was super fast. Okay. Two of swords in the reverse. Okay, so there's a choice you have not made yet. Um, or you have. Let's see. Four of swords in the reverse. So you're not not waiting around anymore you're like healed you're refreshed i think okay i think i'm being led to look at the book for this all right let's see let's see bottom of the deck three of pentacles so the underlying energy for this read is some sort of collaboration um and it has to do with money as well Okay, now hang on. Okay, um, so Spirit asked me to look in the little book that comes with the Goddess Tarot. So the Two of Swords in the reverse, it's talking about discomfort with a decision that was made, um, over-reliance on intellect, leaving emotions unconsidered, and uncomfortable relationship. Okay. So the card next to it is the Four of Swords in the reverse. So I'm going to read that as well. It means enforced isolation, loneliness. More recovery time is needed. Hmm, okay, well. All right, so this is supposed to happen here. Okay. Um, this here, the, the Two of Swords in the reverse, the discomfort with a decision that was made, the over-reliance on intellect, leaving emotions unconsidered. This uncomfortable relationship was part of your divine blueprint, okay? It was supposed to happen, um, and it may possibly br be bringing you in some sort of good fortune. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the goddess of, you know, luxuries and riches. Okay, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is a happy ending. And so since this card is upright, this is good. So this relationship that made you feel uncomfortable is going to bring you something awesome. However, you're not done being um, healing over this. So what you've got here underneath that is the Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. And um, when he's reversed in this deck, this is too much thinking, not enough doing. Business deals need to be examined. Okay, this is waiting. You know, the Four of Swords is also kind of waiting. Okay, so together here, these two, it's, it's just you're waiting because you're uncomfortable with this relationship. You're uncomfortable with this collaboration. But it's time to take action because... This is what you could get. Um, you need to stop waiting. Yeah. Um, let's get the energy oracle and see what it has to say. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and TikTok. 
Hope everyone everyone is doing well. You guys were Merlin. Right now you're doing a bunch of waiting. Okay, well, you know, this is um, four cards. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, indecision. Seventh chakra. Um, that would be your crown chakra. Um, because of this card right here, this is about intuition here. See how her eyes are covered? She's got a choice to make. She's at a crossroads and what she, her eyes are covered because she needs to use her third eye to make this choice. She has to use her intuition. You may not be doing that. You're still waiting. Um, however, this, yeah, this is your door to spirit, opening your crown chakra. And it just takes patience. So this is like temperance too. This feels like temperance. So balance your masculine and feminine ener energies as well. Um, bottom of the deck. Happy family. That's what you want. You want a happy family life. Maybe your family is three people. All right, let's see what the lovely um, legendary ladies have to say. So apparently it's a decision. You need to make some sort of decision here. Indecision. You know, this uh, um, Archangel Uriel is the repeater. If you're getting any messages that are repeating, that's what this means. That could open this door to spirit. However, I've, I just kind of feel like this good fortune and this door to spirit are the same. Okay? So open up the, your door to spirit, your seventh chakra. But if it's not working as quickly as you would hope, you know, which, you know, it does take time is be patient because this is, like I said, this is very much like temperance, which is the divine, allowing the divine to come in, you know, balance, balancing your masculine and feminine takes patience. It, it's not easy. We kind of think it is, um, but we have to implement it into our daily life. And that's what can be hard because we have patterns and habits and stuff and, and codependencies and stuff. Determination. Yeah, see, you have to stay determined. Now, Pele is one of my trinity of very strong goddesses. So when she comes out, I feel like I have to tell you that, that she is um, her Sekhmet and Kali. Um, Kali just came out for Virgo. There's some strength that's needed here. This is a strong feminine energy as well, okay? So um, stay determined because it's going to take patience. Bottom of the deck here, uh, Tara, you are protected through this whole thing, okay? You're, you're protected. Now let's go ahead and see what uh, Lord Ganesha has to say. Lord um, Ganesha's card will probably bring this all together. That's what these larger cards usually do in a reading. Lord Ganesha, please. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one on the bottom and leave the other one. Joy. Harmony. Okay, I'm not going to leave the other one. Spirit's like, oh well, I was. Yeah, so that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the happy, happy family, harmonious um, family life. And this is a four. There's four people in this family. Who knows? Maybe you want to have a baby. Maybe there's only three people in your family right now, and you want to go for the fourth here. You got the four of swords. You've got four people in this happy family card, and it is number four. Okay, so this is very four of wands because I've got harmony and joy. Okay, now th that is a very, um, yeah, that's a four of wands energy. Harmony, home, 
happiness. Um, this is the sacral chakra. Okay, so you can focus on your sacral chakra, which is creativity, sensuality, sexuality. Okay, it's a big part of who you are. Um, this is what you want. This is what you want to bring in. Okay, so just know that when it comes to this problem right here, what you got to do is stop waiting around. Yeah, I mean, the Prince of Pentacles in the reverse is too much thinking, not enough doing. Business deals need to be examined, and you've been waiting. And I feel like that's the biggest um, message here is this waiting, not doing this, not, not moving on. So there's, there's a decision that you need to make here. Um, and, it's, and it's going to be through spirit. You have to listen. That's all I can tell you is you, you need to listen to spirit in order to make this decision. Wow, that was an extremely short reading. But that's all I have for you at this time, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you next time.